Look at the swarm of commenters. All of the sudden, just out of nowhere, a thousand comments. Names I've never seen ever before. Where the hell were any of you ever before? Just a bunch of lurkers. I called you out. And then there you are. Oh, my, he saw me hiding behind the bushes. I better reveal myself as someone real. You're a fake. You're a fraud. That should be so obvious to the real right now. Look at it. Look at the swarm out of nowhere. Where did all these people come from? Just all of a sudden, now, now they're ready to comment on the page. I'm here. Here's my email. Yeah, you sound real serious. A bunch of fake artificials just jacking each other off in the comments. One leaves a comment. Another jacks off that person who left the comment. Thank you for the comment. That's that's the truth. That's everything. You're amazing. Literally jacking each other off. Hoping that you don't know Jack. The Jack off all trades. That's what he does. He's a traitor. He's a traitor to eternity. This is his system. He jacks off all trades because he's a fucking dick. He dicks around. He loves dick. He's the sleuth. The dick. Do you get it? I'm going to be pointing out things that you haven't seen. Because you haven't really been paying attention. Look, one comment. Why are you yelling? With a emoji crying. You have to be joking. You're artificial. Get the fuck out of here. You are not welcome. At all. You're not serious. Where the hell were you ever before? You just came out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. You are the artificial. You're just a hive mind swarmer. What's what's this presentation going to be? 2,000 comments in, an, in a day? And then soon in the... In the next presentation, 10,000 comments. They're swarming. That's the point. That's what the dead do. That's what cancer does. It swarms. It goes metastasic. It becomes uncontrollable. All of a sudden... And they, they want to call themselves good. They, they're pot stirrers. That's all they are. And then you come from the heart with passion. What happened to you? You're, you're lost now. You're in a dark place. I hope that you find your light again. The artificial says that because they have no light in them. They have no passion at all for the truth. At all! Do you get it? Are you starting to see? And I'm only talking to the real. There is going to be swarms upon swarms of the dead artificial. The TV watchers... The lovers of dick. The lovers of the one who jacks them off. Because he gets off on that. It's about turning the light off. Do you get it? 
You think that I'm going to calm down? You believe I'm going to calm down? You haven't begun, begun to hear my passion. Not even close. Not even close. I haven't even started. And the swarms will come. You're lost. You're in the dark. Where, where, what happened to you? Where are you? You're going to see it, and I'm only speaking to the real, only the real, the ones who are done, done. This is hell. It's today. It's orange alert time. It's orange alert. As a fact. It is time to prepare, and that's not, no longer just inwardly, no longer just that. It's time for the external preparation, absolutely. This is what I legitimately meant by the preppers. Their vision of what the prepping is about is wrong. It's not that their prepping was wrong. Do you get it? The prep is necessary. It is. But the reasons why they're doing it are wrong. You are going to have to prep for an immensity. You have no concept of the upheaval that's coming. None. None of you do. The immensity. Unfucking fathomable. You can't imagine it. You can't. Leave your ego aside and just admit it. I don't know. You're you're correct. I don't understand the immensity that's coming. That's coming to you. I'm leaving the mistakes in sometimes my pronunciation will slip a little bit. Forgive me. It's real. No edits. It's live. This is what it is. You think I'm joking around? You're going to listen to the jokers. The jokers in the deck. The deck of his... Fucked up system. Doing his deals. He's telling you. He's always been telling you. This is what I'm going to show you right now. Everything has been assigned. Everything. Symbols are the symbols. Crash, crash, crash. Have you been listening? Or are you a TV watcher? Zoned the fuck out. Zoned out like a fucking zombie. Just bowing down at the altar of that black hole screen. Have you been paying attention to the tells? The tells of the devil. Get it? Tells, tells. The tells, tells of the devil. His black magic occult tells. He wears all kinds of his costumes. He's telling you. Pen and teller. Do you get it? The pen, prison. The writer. The writer of the devil's tales. Tells. And the teller, the one who's silent, the one with a dick as well, because it's two fucking dudes, two fucking dudes, 
tell her the representative of the mother who's mom, who's silent, to be mom is silent. Do you get it? You're being told right to your face. You, you refuse to see. You refuse to believe that everything has been a tell. And not just here for your pleasure and amusement and entertainment. You can't fathom the immensity that we are all up against. You can't fathom it because your ego is not in check. Too much ego, too much comfort. You are couched into comfort. That's the point. That's what death wants you to do. Be comfortable. Sink into my system. Sink into my grave. Be comfortable. Be comforted by that. Be comforted by the thought of death. Death will tell you death is the graduation. You made it. You win. You didn't win nothing. Nothing at all. Death is not a win. It's the biggest loss ever. It is not an ascension. It is not a gateway to heaven. He's telling you outright. He's fucking slapping you in the face with his tells. It is right now a refusal, an absolute, utter refusal to see. Complete denial if you are not seeing the tells. The tells tales of the devil who has inked this fucked up storyline. Are you getting it at all? That's why it takes being serious. If you're not serious, you are not welcome into the kingdom of the heart at all. You're not welcome to even look at it from the from an, an infinite distance away. You're not welcome to even look at it from an infinite distance if you're not ultimately serious. Treating everything like a joke. Nothing is sacred. Nothing is sacred here. That's exactly why you are not welcome into the music of eternity. You will stay in the demented, demented noise of hell and that's all it is is noise and chaos again the tells what's what's a music album called no it's it's not an album it's all bum it's shit it's not a hit it's shit do you get it you're being told over and over and over again. You refuse. You absolutely refuse to get it. Because your ego is too fucking immense still. You're unwilling, unwilling to truly take it seriously. You can't fathom, fathom at all in the fucking slightest, not in the slightest, the immensity of upheaval that's coming. Very soon, it's orange alert. It is time to prepare. You are going to have to make a choice. And it's all in or nothing. The heart is undivided, undivided. That's what a real band is. It's not a band playing 10,000 different songs at the same time. Do you get it? 
If you're not ready to take it seriously, you're not in the band. Fuck off. Get lost. You didn't take it seriously. You're unwilling to carry your own instrument even. You think there's a savior coming to carry your instrument for you and play it for you. While you sit watching TV couched in. Where are you? You're lost in lust. Dicking around. You think sex is the way. You think drugs are the way. Alcohol. Whatever the hell escapes that you're escaping into. The S cape. Thinking you're a superhero with the highs that they give you. You're not a superman. You're being brought down to the pits. Do you get it? Are you seeing it at all? Come on, this I'm begging. I'm begging you to see correctly with your heart and look what the system does. It mocks that. All day long, that's all it knows what to do. It's a traitor. It's a liar. The lawyer, liar, that's always suing, always sewing its Frankensteins together. It's monsters. It's beasts. It's a beast system that everyone clings on to. That was a tell. Look at the Klingon, the Star Trek Klingon. He's a beast. Look how ugly that thing is. You're going to be clinging on to this system as it's telling you how ugly it is. It's, it's showing you. It's slapping you in the face with it over and over and over again. Slap, slap, slap. And still you line up for its quote-unquote gifts and pleasures. You line up. It's telling you to your face that it's lying to you. Straight up. It says, I'm lying to you. Out and outright a lie. I'm telling you. And still, you believe in its system. And thinking things are going to turn around here. This is cancer. This is cancer. You don't change cancer. You get rid of it. You're at war with cancer. Don't you get it? We are at war. You don't remain calm in war. It's fucking chaos. Chaos and death. And you have no idea, none at all, because your ego is huge. The ego is king right now, and you haven't put your ego in check. You haven't laid it aside and said, my goodness, I don't know the immensity because I'm frightened of that. I'm, I'm scared, absolutely terrified. And so I'd rather ignore the immensity thinking that's just going to make it go away and not happen you ignore it and then the day comes and it happens and that day is coming so fucking soon you have no concept orange alert right now Time to physically, actually prepare. There is going to be two choices for the heart. The real. Two choices, and both are immensities. Both of them.
What does that mean? The walk is real. The walk is real. It's not a metaphor. You are going to see impossibilities. The impossible is going to be shown. As a fact, not a metaphor. I am going to be walking down the highway. I will be carrying nothing. Not a backpack. I won't have a lighter in my pocket to start a fire. Nothing. Nothing. You will say, that's impossible. You're just going to die. You have no idea. At all. At all what is going to be presented. You don't believe in the impossible because your ego is too fucking huge. It's enormous. It's, it's the crown right now. The ego is the crown. And you refuse to see with your heart. Absolutely refuse. Because you're terrified of the immensity. You're terrified of the passion that you're hearing. You think and believe the messenger has changed. There's been no change at all. You're listening to the beginnings of what has been stored and what is to be delivered. This is the beginning. You can't fathom the passion at all because you're not serious. Your ego is not in check. That's what's crowned right now. That's why, unless you are ultimately serious, willing to lay it all on the line, you're not in the band. You're not welcome into the kingdom. You will not walk with the heart. I am the heart. Do you get it? Only one key into the kingdom. Only one. Only the one who is willing to lose everything can then gain everything. Do you get it? The walk will be presented. I am the way. There is a way out of hell. I am the way. Are you listening? Are you ready for the mockers who are going to mock the shit out of what I just said? You're going to see the swarms of demented comments and the jack-off comments. Swarms upon swarms of them. In the time to come, a hundred thousand comments per hour, per minute, per second, a flood, a flood of artificial. How are you going to find the real in that? That's the type of immensity that's to come. Death is on its way. The death, death ceiling. The walking dead. Do you get it? None of these things have been here and shown to you for your entertainment, your pleasure. They're the tells of the devil and his black magic of what is to come. What are you going to do to prepare for the immensity? It's not about bunkering down so that you come out on the other side and we rebuild in this realm. 
This realm is getting flushed. It's a cancer toilet. It's cancer. That's where you're born. Just like the sign, crabbed in. Crabbed in crap. Born in cancer. Being slapped in the face. Unable to see that those who do not believe in the heart and get the mark, and that mark is coming soon. It's going to be tangent with my walk. The presentation of the impossible and the revelation. The total revelation from the heart. As I said before, the taps of the heart are going to be shut off. No more gas. No more food being grown. It's the earth that provides it all. Duh! Holy shit! Duh! What provides it all? The earth, which is the heart! Duh! You don't believe in the heart? You can kiss it by then. Goodbye. There are so many artificial out there using the light of the heart and it makes them seem real. Seem real. But they're artificial. You wonder why you attempt to try to get others to see anything and they absolutely refuse through and through and you wonder why because they're using the heart as a stolen light they are not the heart they are not for it they are not of it they are of the system of the artificial the mind of Lucifer the devil and he's telling you that he's mind mind the heart for his mind to put it into his artificial suits that are all over the place and the vast 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 majority are going to bow down at the altar of this system. Take the mark, the mark of the beast, when all of the resources go bye-bye. And there's now just a limited tiny supply for the asses, the masses. Give me the mark! I believe in you, Satan! I believe that things will turn around. The news told me, your news station, that anchors me with its anchors, its news anchors, into your beliefs, into your lies. The lies of the soap that brainwash me. Wash me clean every day of the truth. Scrub out the truth. Fill the space with lies instead. Do you get it? He's telling you. Crash, crash, crash. Symbol, symbol, symbol. Are you listening? It's now so loud, the noise, the chaos... How can you not, not see it? It's impossible not to see. Unless you remain blind willfully. 
You turn your blind eye. And then that's that. You want to remain in the dark, in the cave. You're just going to cave. You don't have courage to put it all in the line. The heart is courage. It's ready to go to war. On the front line. It's not ready for letting somebody else do that. You go and save me. You're my savior. That's not how this works. If you're going to be in the band, you have to show up on time, every time, right now. Where are you? You're a no-show. You're out of the band. Fuck off. You were off time. You were late. In music, you could never be late. On time. On time. Now. 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 It's always now. So many just talk. Tick tock. Tick tock. Thinking they have all the time. All the time in the world. Talk. 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 Tick tock. Tick talk, 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 no actions, no willingness to put everything on the line, to be ready for the war, the unfathomable war that is right around the corner. You have no time left. There is, see it as being zero time left to prepare. The preppers, you have it right in one way, just not how you saw it. Yeah, that's right, the food stores, the guns, the weapons, you're going to be fighting the walking dead. Those who didn't believe in the heart are not going to have access to the light of the heart. What keeps everything alive, including in this corpse, meat, flesh suit form of the devil's cut? It's the heart. And those who don't believe in the heart have it taken away. That crown is taken away. Do you get it? And the very moment that it's taken away, what happens to those artificial people? They're dead. They're the dead walking. You think that was for your entertainment. It was a tell. The death ceiling, the death. You're going to be swimming, swimming in death. Fucking zombies, literally, not as a fucking metaphor. And that's why there's two choices. Only two choices for the real who are of the heart. And it's important. You, ha- you are going to have to consider which one you're going to choose. If you're real. If you're all in. And the time to prepare for it is now. Right now. Orange alert. Either you carry your own cross and you walk with me. When I say the the time to walk is right now, this is the opportunity of an eternity. And you walk with me. I am the way. I am the key. But what do you need to use a key with? A key is only one half of what is necessary. Where do you use a key? This is the kingdom of heaven. Do you get it? There's a key, but I need what? 
I need a door. I need the gate. I can have the key all day long, forever and ever. No door, no entry. So you walk with me, choice one, that's the walk. And it's an immensity, and it's not going to be easy at all. And choice number two, stay behind. You have to think of this like chess. If I'm the key, the king in chess, who is the most powerful piece? Who is the most powerful piece? She is going to need more help than you can imagine. You have no concept of the immensity that needs to be faced, that is going to be faced in the fucking dark at that. Do you think those verses biblically about the sun and moon, the false lights of Lucifer going dark, do you think that's a metaphor? It's a tell! It's a tell! The true light is coming back! The heart is the true light! It's coming back, and when that happens, the false lights fall! They fall. It goes dark. See in the dark. Do you get it? It is an immensity. I am only talking to the real who are willing to prepare right now for that immensity and stay behind. For her, she's the door. The door to eternity. Do you get it? It's a devil's bet. He's bet against the kingdom of the heart. Do you get it? The key won't happen. The door won't happen. The two shall not meet and grant entry to those who believe in the heart. Do you get the immensity and the implications? I am only speaking to the real who are willing to stay behind and prepare to become lighthouses for her as she swims in a sea of fucking death to reach where I need to go because it's a devil's bet that I won't make it where I need to go and that even more so far more impossible than what I'm even going to do that she has no chance at all and you have no idea what you're up against the immensity of what's on the line eternity is on the line the infinite the heart is on the line and you want to watch fucking TV I gotta watch Netflix. I gotta watch all the programs. What show is next? I gotta sleep some more. I'm tired. I gotta sink into some more fucking bullshit. Drown myself into fucking loser ways. Drink more, do some more drugs, have more sex, chase more fucking tail. Devil 
false tales! And you can't even fucking imagine! You can't! Cause your ego is the crown! What's on the line? What has been created here has been impossible to do! Impossible! And you're gonna listen to the fucked up commenters! Don't listen to him, he's lost now, he's in the dark! I hope he can turn himself around! You're gonna listen to those fuckhead losers instead! These jack-offs who are literally jacking each other off! Not taking fucking nothing seriously at all! Ever! So many showed, so many of you showed how easily you gave up with just putting your fucking email in a comment section. You just fucking gave up for, for something like that. Wow. And you, you think you're prepared for the kingdom of eternity to be in that band. You couldn't even try again. I would be trying 800 trillion fucking times if my email didn't work. Saying what I asked to say. What I asked you to say. Are you all in for the heart ready to put it all on the line? My email's somewhere. You can go look for it. Fuck you! You're not in the band! You gave up! Right away! You think I'm not going to test? You think I'm not going to put you to the test? You think I already haven't been this whole time? I'm paying attention to who's real. Very, very close attention. Couldn't even try again. You saw how the system, it just deletes it though. It scattered us, yeah, across the face of this, this earth, this heart. That's the point again. And you couldn't even try, try more than once to put your email down. And you want the kingdom of heaven. I, I tried. I, I'm gonna go watch some TV now. I put my. I'm serious though. You're not fucking serious. You think I haven't tested because of the importance. The immense, unfathomable importance of what this is all about. You think you leave things to chance? With everything being on the line, everything, this is eternity. You're not going to take your infinite spirit seriously. You're going to fucking waste your time zoned out listening to retard commenters who are just sending you down their dark alleys go look there instead the person you're listening to is lost he's in the dark if you follow and listen to those retard artificial intelligences which are not intelligent at all. I'm telling you right now that you deserve to be deceived.
you deserve it because you are being told over and over and over again, slapped in the face as hard as someone can get slapped. And you will still follow a deceiver who's telling you that they're a deceiver. When I walk, everyone sees who I am. The whole world will see who I am. I have not been lying. I am going to look exactly like a homeless bum because that's exactly what I am. But I will be doing the impossible. Do you get it? And if you don't get it, you don't deserve to be in the band. You have to take it serious to get it. You're going to have to carry your own instrument and play it on time. That's what a war is. You don't hesitate in a war. It's now. Now is the time. The dead are swarming all around you. It's not time to take a shower. It's not time to light a candle and sit at your kitchen table and have fucking tea. Do you get it? I was testing all of you. Maybe we should see it like that, like we should just sit down and have some tea. Are you fucking joking? I just told you this is war! And so many of you said, I'm ready to have tea! This is not fucking tea time! You're not getting it. Do you not get what a teacher does? No one can be a disciple of mine. No one without the utmost of seriousness. The utmost. No limitation to the level of seriousness necessary. You believe... You believe there's a future in the devil's kingdom, the devil's empire. His empire, where all the empires always fall over and over and over again. His system of death slapping you so obviously over and over again, upside the head with that tell. Then you still believe that you're going to magically ascend or be saved and tossed into heaven after this once you reach your death. You listen to the artificial talk about death like it's a good thing, something to wait for. You need to wait for your death and then you can escape. Those are the remarks of an imbecile, a retard. That's the fact. You're going to listen to an imbecile? To an absolute idiot, a moron. Your infinite spirit is on the line and you're going to listen to a moron who tells you that death is a good thing to welcome with open arms and it's your graduation day. You did it. You reached, you reached death. Here's heaven. Why? Well, just because... You reached death. There it is. You did it. 
and you believed in somebody else who was going to carry your cross, your instrument for you when you wanted to be in the band but didn't fucking take anything seriously not serious enough to practice your ass off going over your part over and over and over and over again You thought five minutes of practice was good enough. Oh, I'm good enough. I'm ready to perform. Get lost. You're not in the band. You're not even close to ready. You're not worthy of even knowing about the music of heaven, let alone hearing it, let alone being in the band. And those that don't want to take everything with the utmost seriousness are offended absolutely offended by this who are you to say all these things you're mean you just gotta spread your love and light everything's gonna turn around in this place it's just about doing your best which is just fucking watching more tv from those artificial commenters and sipping tea while a war is happening They're spreading their love and light message. Zend out retards. Not willing to risk anything. Nothing is risked. They think everything's going to be risked for them. Somebody else carry my instrument. Somebody else carry my cross. It's too heavy. You do it for me. You played the song. I'm tired. And you want the kingdom of heaven. What a joke! What a joke! You're not ready at all until you understand the tremendous level of seriousness of the situation that you are in. Denial is not going to change it. Pretending it's not happening is not going to make it go away. It is a juggernaut heading straight in everyone's direction, straight for you. Unstoppable. And you think that your petty little denial is going to prevent that. No one is preventing it. There is no turning this cancer system around by sipping on tea and making a petty little fucking nothing comment that someone jacks themselves off to. That, that, that was a beautiful, nice, lovely, positive comment. There, everything is perfect now. jacking each other off and mocking mocking the one who comes from the heart with the truth the total truth the revelation the swarms of dead are on their way 
This is a bankrupt system. The debt ceiling. Ceiling hitting the fan. The shit hits the fan. The ceiling fan. Then you're swimming in the dark abyss, the sea of death. Are you seeing it? The tells have been everywhere, everywhere and in everything. Symbols crash, crash, crash. So fucking loud. It's all I can hear. That's all I can hear. And you want to listen to a comment they're telling you to zen out and wait for death as a solution. Don't worry, death is coming right around the fucking corner. It's so fucking close. Don't take it seriously. You're going to find out exactly how far that gets you. You're going to find out. That's not a threat. It's a fact. I'm delivering the truth. I'm telling you the truth. That's what the heart does. It doesn't lie. It doesn't hide anything. It tells you straight out. Here it is. This is the truth. This is the revelation. Are you listening? Or are you going to go to the bar tonight and get fucked up? Or are you going to go do some cocaine? Or are you going to worry about fucking tapping that ass? Squirting some of your dick mustard seed into a fucking twat? Or are you a pussy looking for that fucking mustard? It goes both ways. Man and woman. As I said, the door. The door. The the gate to the kingdom. She has... An unfathomable immensity to contend with in the fucking dark. In the dark. She needs the protection. That's what I'm telling you. But you can't imagine the unimaginable because it's out of the scope of what you've been capable of imagining because you've remained in the vision of darkness, which has kept you boxed in. Unwilling to see outside of the box. You're terrified of the truth. Terrified of it. So the first reaction is to reject it. That's too fucking scary. I refuse to admit to that. I refuse to believe what you're saying. You're going to listen to the jack-off commenters instead, leading you down the dark web abyss.
where there's a queen bitch spider ready to fucking devour you. That's her web. Didn't you get it? The web of deception. It is intricate. More intricate than you can fathom. Evil is powerful in its own right. You need to realize that and know it. It is not something to take lightly. And it's been showing you over and over and over again in everything. And you think everything's been set up just because you're so fucking special. It's been set up all for me in my middle class lifestyle. Right, where I can go to Walmart 24-7 and buy some plastic crap made by a slave in China. That's why I'm here. It's just a little experience for me to do that. Leave me alone. Let me buy my garbage. Let me go to my stupid job where I make a paycheck king that I bow down to, which is a fucking crumb. A crumb. Less than a crumb. Because it's a fucking crummy job. That you hate and you think it's worth it because then you go home and you can tap some ass. Oh, the sex I can go home to, it makes it worth it, I guess. Or getting drugged out or drunk on the weekends. I can zone out. I can binge watch a bunch of series. There's 10,000 series I need to get through. I will watch them all. That's my great accomplishment. That's what this life is about, and then I reach death and I graduate. That's what you think. That's you taking things serious. Are you fucking kidding? You're a fucking joke if you think that. An absolute fucking joke. Get out of here. You're not welcome. You're not. You're not a disciple of mine. You're not. You're not welcome on the walk if that's how you see things at all. You're not welcome to make the choice to protect her at all. You're going to die. You're going to become a zombie yourself. That's going to be your fate. The end!